Hello, my name is Jamie and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today we're going to take a look at modelling a vase. Uh, we're going to just use some very basic uh, modelling techniques to get that done. Um, this will be the first part in a series where the goal is to have a short film at the end of it, uh, which is going to be quite good. Um, it's not going to be a Pixar quality short film, but it will be a nice little, a little thing that you can uh, show your friends and say that you've done that. Um, so we'll start off, we're going to keep this very basic, um, I'll try and explain everything that I'm doing, um, if not you can see I've got my screencast keys on here, which means every button that I press is going to be shown to you. Um, so I'm going to start off by just orienting the view, um, because I want to be in the front view. So I'll just hit 1 on my numpad, and then 5 on the numpad as well to give me a orthographic view or something that's just got no perspective. Um, and then with the cube selected, which if yours isn't, you can uh, right click on it and then hit X and delete just to get rid of that because I don't want to use that. Um, I'm going to hit Shift A now to add in a circle mesh. It helps if you click on it. And then uh, without pressing anything because uh, the object comes in uh, already selected, I'm going to hit R, then X and then type 90 and hit enter on the numpad and that just orients the circle to the front view as well so now I'm going to zoom in by scrolling up on my mouse wheel um, you can zoom out by scrolling back so this sort of stuff doesn't show up on the uh, screencast keys and then I'm going to tab into edit mode um, so just hitting tab you go into edit mode and then I'm going to right mouse click on uh, the top vertice here and hit X to delete it and then do the same down the bottom right click and then X and left click on the menu option to delete now I'm going to uh, shift and then click on my middle mouse button to pan and I'm going to bring this half just up to sit up here um, and I'm just going to uh, shape this a little bit so it's the sort of the base of my vase so, whilst still in edit mode, I'm going to hit O on my keyboard, uh, which is not zero, sorry. Um, just the the, num the letter O, not the number, zero. Uh, to go to proportional editing. And then every time you try to move something with G, uh, you see you get this cir white circle um, around where you started moving. And you can change the size of that using your scroll wheel as well, uh, scrolling up and scrolling down. And that just allows you to uh, make nice smooth changes uh, to the shape. So I'm just going to bring this in a bit. And I'm just making lots of little changes um, to try and keep things nice and rounded and nice and smooth. And I want the bottom to be flat. So I'll just try and work that in. And then I want the bottom to be quite bulbous and quite rounded. Okay, so that's quite good. So now again, uh, B to box select. And then I'm going to hit 0, or sorry, no, I'm going to hit O to get rid of proportional editing. And I'm going to move this in towards the center. Uh, you can just left click on that arrow there to move things um, so I've got that fairly centered up and then I'm going to select this piece with B and box select just be careful not to select any of the vertices down here and then I'm going to hit G and move this piece up I'm going to hit S to scale and then X to scale along the X axis and then just move my mouse in towards the object to scale it in and I just want to create this nice slender neck shape um, and I'll put that about there so now I'm just going to reposition this vertice and maybe this vertice and I'll select these two vertices here with a box select which is B again and I'm going to hit Alt M and just merge at center and just adjust these couple of vertices so it's nice and smooth 
Now again with B to box select and then left clicking to drag and select. That's cool. So I'll select that bit. I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate, which is sort of similar to copy and paste. Um, and I'm just going to move it, move this piece that I just duplicated to the side a bit. You'll find as soon as you hit Shift D, you get this piece sort of attached to your mouse. So then you just left click to place it down. And I'm just going to adjust a couple of vertices and then hit select these two vertices here with uh, right mouse button then shift right mouse button and hit F to fill the gap now I want a bit more of a lip uh, than what's going on there so I'm just gonna adjust these vertices around a little bit so that's just with right mouse button and then hitting G to move um, and left clicking to confirm the movement um, and I've accidentally moved my cursor which is just left clicking anywhere um, but I don't need to worry about that right now so I've got a little piece of geometry there um, I'm just going to move this vertice into the dead center so with it selected I'm going to hit I hit N to bring up my properties panel and I scroll all the way up and I want the X value to be 0 so I'm just going to click on the number and type that in and hit enter to confirm and then with this vertice down the bottom I want X to be 0 and I want Y to be 0 uh, so it's sitting flat on the ground so now I've got this one continuous piece that sort of connects to the center axis of the world or the Z axis um, so now we're ready to turn this into a 3D object, so I'm going to left click on the modifiers panel here and then left click on here and select screw um, and we'll change the axis here to the Y axis so it's screwed around there um, this is more, it's spun at the moment rather than screwed where you can change this setting here to sort of adjust the threading on the screw um, but we don't need to worry about that so I'm just going to leave that at zero and then tab it into object mode and hit apply so now we've got a 3D object um, from our little 2D outline that we had and I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is tab back into edit mode select everything with A and hit control and N together and that just gets rid of any problems with the normals uh, which is the way that the face is facing so uh, but all you need to know is that hitting control N will fix that problem um, and then I'm gonna hit control 2 to add in a subset modifier which if we tab back into object mode you'll see everything's gone really nice and smooth now um, and then again back in edit mode by hitting tab and with everything selected um, by hitting A hit A a few times uh, and when everything's orange that means it's all selected I'm going to hit W and then go to remove doubles and it says up here that it's removed 30 vertices um, that's just because the screw function didn't uh, connect anything together it just basically spun everything around and uh, around an axis to create an object so uh, we've got the object made uh, now we're going to want to uh, make sure that it, it looks nice at the moment it's just a flat object um, so we're going to add a basic little material to it um, so to do that we're going to go to the material panel here just left click on that and then just click on new uh, make sure you got the object selected first so then we'll click on new um, and I want the default material to change and we're just going to make the material just as, like a ceramic sort of material um, so I just want it to be white and I want the type to be Aranea uh, with zero roughness specular should be white which it already is turn up the intensity to one and I'm going to make it a blin 
the hardness uh, probably 140 and this, the IOR which is the index of refraction uh, will make it 10 I think the shading is fine um, we'll turn the translucency up a little bit 0.2 and a bit uh, we don't want any transparency, we want a little bit of reflectiveness to it, so I'll turn on mirror. I'll just put on point, uh, I think it was point 0.15 reflectiveness. Uh, this bit should be white, we'll turn up Fresnel a little bit, sort of one and a bit. Depth should be one. And that will just give us a nice basic um, sort of ceramic type material. So it's a little bit shiny, a little bit white. Um, this is the camera here, so I'll select that and I'm just going to move that up on the z-axis, which is that one there. If I hit zero on my numpad with my cursor in the 3D window, um, you'll find that it goes to the view that the camera has. I mean, I've still got it selected, so I'm going to hit G and I'll just move the camera around a little bit so we can get the sort of positioning of that. Uh, done correctly, um, so we can see when we hit F12 to render um, that we've got the sort of the vase just in the middle of the view. Um, I'm going to hit Shift S to move my cursor to the center, which is this option here, and then Shift A again to create a plane, and then S to scale it up and just make it a big plane. Um, just so we've got something to make a little scene out of so we can make sure the uh, material's working nicely. Now this lamp I'm going to turn into a Hemi. Um, I'm going to change the energy to 0 0.6. And then I'm just going to bring it sort of here. Just R to rotate and G to move. Uh, 7 on the numpad is your top view, which is where I'm working from. And then I'm going to Shift D to duplicate the lamp, uh, which I'll turn into a sun, and I'll just rotate it this way. So it's sort of cutting across from the direction of the camera. Um, and then we've got sh sh some shadow options here. I'm going to turn these samples up to 16, and this soft size up to 10. And that should give us a nice nice little setup. Um, I'll change the color of the plane to... so I'll create a new material for it and I'll just change it to this sort of yellowy color. Um, and if things are looking a little bit weird along the edges and stuff, just hit 1 on your numpad and that changes the zoom in the render result window just to be 100% so that everything's looking like it is as it's rendered. So we've got a nice soft shadow, there's a little bit of reflection going on, some specular highlights. Um, now it's still looking pretty flat even though we've got a bit of a, a sort of a shader going to it. So to fix that, um, you can middle mouse click on this, on these buttons here to move them along. Um, I'm just going to go to the textures panel I'm going to hit escape to get out of the render window and then right click to select the vase and I want to add a texture to the vase um, I'm going to add a noise texture which is here um, and I don't want it to influence the colour which is this option here so I'll uncheck that um, but I do want to affect the normal um, and I'll affect the normal I'll do a test render to see what's going on. Um, at the moment you can see that noise is really strong. Um, there's a lot of it that you can see. So I'm going to click in here, change that to just point 0.1. And that's still looking a little bit strong. So I might turn that down a little bit more to point 0.05. Hit F12 to render again. So we've got a little bit of texture going on um, for the object, but um, it hasn't taken much to get that sort of nice little effect. 
bearing in mind that this is going to be an object just, that's just sitting in the background um, it doesn't have to be much nicer than that you can change the colour to really any sort of colour that you like um, I'll just keep in mind at white because it's just a basic ceramic colour but you can make a nice red base if you like um, and there's a little bit of texture you might want to reduce the sort of level of that noise a little bit more so we'll change this normal value to say 0 0.025 and let's just reduce that a little bit so that's nice um, I think that's yeah, that's the end of everything that um, I've got for this tutorial. So hopefully you've picked up a little bit of something uh, from this. Um, there's a few tools in there that I don't normally use every day, like the screw tool um, and stuff like that. But it, it can be quite useful. Um, so hopefully you've learned a little bit of something. Um, like me on Facebook and subscribe to YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, like the video if you've liked it. Share with your friends. Um, Hopefully this series uh, will sort of, I'll try and get a video out each week um, to sort of keep it moving along um, and teach you some new tools and stuff. Um, and I will talk to you next time.